Hi peas, guess what we're doing today? We are making over Nimrod's tank. So this is what it looked like before. I did take some of the plants out already, but as you can see, just cheap gravel, fake plants, not the best setup for a betta. So here's all the plants that I bought and took out of the tank. I got new ones and old ones. And what they're doing is they're soaking in a salt bath. And this kind of helps kill snails because you know snails and salt. But you soak them in the bath and then you leave them five minutes, fresh water, bath, back and forth. While they're soaking, I took the old tank outside. Uh, Nimrod's in a little holding tank, by the way. I took the new tank outside and dumped all of the gravel out best that I could um, into another tank, and then I rinsed the tank out and got it ready for some new gravel. So this is the fluval stratum that I'm going to use to line the bottom of the tank. This is going to be an under layer where the plants can kind of root in and thrive. So this is not going to be the gravel per se. This is like soil, but for aquariums. So poor shot, but as you can see, I'm, I'm basically rinsing it in that corner there. I'm rinsing it, dumping it, rinsing it, dumping it. This was an extremely long process. Um, very boring, very time consuming. It takes a lot of time to rinse fluval stratum. I did hear from someone that you're not supposed to fully rinse it though because the stuff that you're rinsing is actually what makes the stratum nutritious to plants. So I did stop at a certain point but I, I got the bulk of the, the debris off. Next in a new container as you can see I got black sand. This is just regular black sand from the fish store. Um, fine grain so any black sand will do but basically um, I'm rinsing this off. This can be thoroughly rinsed and I and it was a lot easier because I bought aquarium grade sand so it was already kind of pre-rinsed. You can see the water here is a lot clearer anyway but I just want to get off a lot of the dust and debris that kind of comes with buying sand from a pet store. And bulk of the time, like 50% of the time of putting this enclosure together was just rinsing substrate. Took a very long time to do all of this. Now back inside you can see the water's pretty cloudy so that's mainly due to the fluval stratum and that's all that's there right now so I put a layer of the stratum down and now I'm trying to arrange the rocks how I want. So hot tip, Petco now carries aquarium like um, aquascaping rock so they had dragon stone when I went and then I believe this is pronounced seru stone and that's the one I got so I really liked the gray white striping because I'm doing really just a dark black theme with this tank but it's called seru stone and again they also have dragon stone and then once I had it all stacked up um, I used a couple rocks to kind of make it a little taller within the tank if you're wondering the stones. Um, this is a five gallon tank so I put three stones in this five gallon and the bag at Petco I believe you get like six stones in a bag for 30 bucks so not a bad deal especially if you don't have a aquarium specialty store near you where you can get this kind of stone or if it's too expensive online. Okay this is Nimrod this is what he's been waiting in and I'm just actually gonna put the plants that have now been in their salt bath by the way they're rinsed I'm not putting salty plants in with Nimrod the betta um, I'm rinsing the plants they actually were just in a freshwater soak so I just wanted to make sure they had all those like extra minerals off but I'm doing another rinse and then I'm just putting them in with Nimrod because he's gonna actually have to hang out in here overnight because we need to be able to let the tank settle um, for tomorrow when we'll do the planting. So I'm just adding in all of the plants that I bought in with Nimrod and then that way he has some coverage overnight and the plants will still be oxygenating the water, um, which is fine. It's just he's spending the night in a gallon. He'll, he'll be fine guys, it's okay. People do worse. People keep their bettas and things like this full time. He's just vacationing here. So this is where we're gonna leave it. This is day end of day one of rinsing and putting in the hardscape and day two. Day two is a huge difference. The water is crystal clear now. That is one night of having the filter running and letting things settle. Uh, I am taking out that little rock in the cup there. That was only there because while the filter was on it, it was like pushing some of the substrate out of the way because it was powerful because there's nothing in there. But anyway, that can come out and now you can clearly see what the stone looks like in there. And again, that's Seru stone very beautiful rock um, and that's gonna go in there and now we're going to end up planting this tank which I'm very excited about and this will be day two and we won't put Nimrod in until the next day after this one so here we go with planting 
I sped this up for you guys. This is the longest process and I did not film this very well. I get in the way of the camera a lot. So Serpa Design, I don't know how you do it, how you make your videos look so cinematic, but I tried guys. <laughs> so this is what it looks like getting planted and everything in. I don't know a name, the names of the majority of these plants, but the one put, currently being put in is the Anubius. So I love Anubius and I plan on getting more for this tank to fill it in. The rest, I have no idea what they are. They were just plants I bought at Petco. They were also having a sale that were if you buy three, you get the fourth free. So if anyone's interested in like upgrading their tanks right now, honestly, Petco is not a bad option if you don't have a specialty aquarium shop because they have the, the decorative stone, they've got all these plants in. At least mine was doing really well when I went in to buy all of this stuff. So um, typically big box stores, we, we want to avoid when we can and support local but in this case you know you got to do what you got to do and it was some good deals <laughs> all right here it is all planted we're gonna put the lid on and turn on the light and then that will just sit there until the next day so uh lots of floaty bits going around from the plants but we'll come back and here's day three the final product so water is very clear um, the light has been dimmed by those long grassy reeds, which I love. Um, all the plants provide plenty of hiding spots. And of course, I just put all this in, so it's going to fill in over time. And then this is Nimrod entering and kind of poking around. He loved this, guys. He was so investigative of everything. And his favorite spot is in the back corner, which is right here. You're going to see right now. And there he is in that back corner. So thanks, guys. We're at the end of the video. I do post every Friday. If you like what you see and you want to see more pet stuff, more educational stuff, animal related, make sure you follow and subscribe. Subscribing helps me a ton. It's free. And yeah, doesn't harm it. Bye.